If you like our video, press the like button. And you can even share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Finally. Adios. Adios. But I've seen this on other YouTube channels like Cole the Corn Star and uh, or the Millennium Farmer. Or maybe it was How Farms Work. Or maybe it was Welker Farms. Either way, they stand here in front of something that's broken and then they snap their fingers like that and it's fixed. Didn't work. Maybe I'm... No. No. So! I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you know that this is a wheelbarrow. So what we're gonna do is make a replica of this one. We'll take these bolts out here, and then we will use this as a template to drill our new holes. Then, after we do that, we will simply put the new one in here. Now, the new one is not gonna be the exact same. It'll be the same length and everything, but the handle itself will not be perfectly round up here. I'm not that worried about it because this is not the first handle I've broken on a wheelbarrow, and it won't be the last. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in just a little bit at the ends and then I'll go straight down just to take the edges off right here. That's what I would use the lathe for, but like I said, this is a little too long for the lathe. And I'll do the same thing on all the corners. So, as you can see, not perfectly round, but I can smooth that out on the, with a sander and make it to where it's at least comfortable to hold. So, like I mentioned before, not perfectly round, not gonna be. I don't spend a lot of time and effort into wheelbarrow handles, mainly because I break them often enough that it's just not worth my time and effort to make it perfect. So, it's cheaper than buying a new one, it's way cheaper than buying a new wheelbarrow, but it's also cheaper than buying a new handle. They do sell, the, or the, yeah, the handles. They sell them separately, but if you go to Lowe's or Menards or anywhere like that, you're gonna pay probably about 10 bucks for one. I just made two for about $2.96 because, and I still have wood left over from it. Tools, check. So as you can see here, there's a hole that's gonna run this way through it, and then there's multiple holes that are gonna run going this direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up these holes first, and then I will mark my other one. So, as you can see, it's fixed, it's the same length, uh, we're very close to it. Slightly different diameter on the handle portion that we smoothed down, not a big deal. Like you said, we've broken these before. Uh, actually, ironically enough, it was the same side, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I don't think I spent, I'm almost certain this is a factory one because I wouldn't have spent this much time to make it perfectly smooth.
But if you don't have the tools to do it yourself, not a big deal. They're only like, I think they're eight or $10 to buy a new one um, from like Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever hardware store you have nearby or lumber store. If not, you have the tools, you run up to Lowe's or Menards, buy yourself a two by four stud, cut it in half, and then you can make two handles. So I made two handles for like $2 or some, almost just under $3, I made two of them. Um, but like I said, we keep a lot of stuff on hand and uh, store it on hand just for these reasons. I don't want to have to drive to town for every little thing. Um, every time we do a big building project, I always order extra just for that reason because I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna need it at some point. But I hope the video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, by all means, if you did like it, please subscribe. Uh, there's more good stuff coming on our channel, I promise. Um, our whole family's involved in this. Again, this is a first generation farm, so everything you see going on here is from the ground up. Um, we're not, we didn't inherit a farm. We actually started our own. And at that point, it's something that we're very proud of. And we wanna show others though, the difficulties that you're gonna, if you're wanting to do the same thing, we just wanna show you the difficulties so you're aware of them and are prepared in your endeavors if you wanna start a farm too. So by all means, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see something else done on our farm. We do all kinds of things and I don't record all of them because it is time consuming. But if there's requests for it, I will record it. And last but not least, please subscribe if you like the channels on our, or the videos on our channel. We, uh, we enjoy sharing all this information and we enjoy seeing the individual subscribing. So thank you. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's our next milestone. So please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. God bless, have a great week, and we'll see you next week.